What's up you guys, it's Andrew from Posh Designs and today I have episode 2 of my series called Speed Art Commentaries. Now in this episode I'm going to be talking to you guys about when I was growing up. Now I'm not going to be focused too much on when I was little, but more focused on when I turned about 14 years old to 17 years old. So guys, sit back, relax, and enjoy this commentary. Now before I do start, I'd like to give a very big shout out to the guy I'm making this background for in the speed art, and his name is Chase on Two Wheels. He is an amazing moto vlogger, and he just talks about his life experiences, um, and just also about his bike. So if you guys do like motorcycles, or you guys just like a new good commentator, I would definitely go check him out. His channel link is in the description below, and I definitely think he deserves a new subscribe from some of you subscribers that are subscribed to me. So definitely go check him out, but that's enough about him. Now the beginning years, like I said, I'm only going to hit a little on. I wasn't raised in a rich, perfect family, and my mom wasn't perfect at all. My mom actually got addicted to drugs, and she was actually specifically addicted to methamphetamine. My parents split up, but then I moved in with my dad and his fiance in the third grade. My dad has worked his ass off to become as successful as he is today, and tries so hard to give his family a great life. But enough of when I was young. When I turned 14, I began YouTube. I was actually a commentator for the longest time over Call of Duty gameplay, but I didn't seem too dedicated enough, so I just quit. My grandma bought me a laptop my sophomore year of high school, and that's kind of where everything really began. I started to do graphics and Photoshop, but I was a complete, total noob. I opened a channel called Preeminent Designs, and it actually started to be a pretty big success for me. So I then kind of started to mess around, self-teaching myself, and now I like to think of myself as a somewhat decent graphic designer. But then that channel did get shut down because I couldn't become a partner on it due to um, some copyright things. So that's why I started up Posh Designs, and I think Posh Designs has turned into a really good channel, and I uh, hope that you guys like it as well. But when I did turn 16, my life kind of changed. I started to work at a local pizzeria, and work kind of took over my life. One big pro on this was that I was making money. I was making lots of money. But with that came one major con, and that was the loss of my passion for graphic design. Now I did start to buy lots of stuff, and I turned to be a really big independent person. Whereas four months ago, I was relying on my parents for everything I had bought. But then I did quit that pizzeria after eight months, and I worked at a local restaurant, I'm sure you guys have heard of it, Buffalo Wild Wings, but the management sucked ass there, so I quit there, and I actually now work at a local restaurant called Carlos Kelly's with my girlfriend, and she's kind of the reason that I got the job in the first place, so uh, big shout out to her, thank you, babe. Um, but yeah, so now I'm working there, um, but in all this, like I said, I met the girl of my dreams, and well, you know, she's pretty amazing. Um, but now I'm 17 and life is pretty good. I'm a senior in high school about to graduate along with only having two classes a day, which is pretty awesome in my mind. Now like I had talked about, in my last speed art commentary, I'm about to actually buy a bike and me and my girlfriend are about to be moving in together. So growing up kind of came fast for me and it's kind of weird to think that over the course of four years, I'm here today. Now one thing I'd like to say is that enjoy your life not having any bills and just being able to be a kid. I'm not here to preach to you guys, and I'm certainly not trying to change your mind about any decisions that you guys are trying to make, but just give me my word of advice, live life to the fullest right now while you can, because paying bills and growing up is not always the best thing that's going to be happening. So here's my question for you guys today. Where do you guys think that you guys will be in five years? And are you ready to be growing up? And leave your response in the comment section below, or you guys can definitely give a video response. Well guys, that's all I have for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And until next time guys, my name is Andrew from Posh Designs. I make quality graphics for free, and I make your visions a reality. She, she told me it'd be better if she knew me. She could call me when she's lonely, but I said I'm not that guy, 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 girl. I, I told her if I ever got to know her, she'll just hate me when it's over. That's the truth, I ain't going to lie. No, my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me oh, oh, just let me oh. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome, and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me oh, oh, just let me oh. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome, and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me oh. Fuck all that shit, just let me go. Words and taste makers make us no chaser. Gets the blood flowing like a fucking pacemaker. Cut the middle.